Ah, we're going to Keon, I believe his name was. Or is, rather. <laughs> Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners That fare? nose, oh my god. Commander, all is well. If you'd like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner and... How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. Barbarians. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part, for we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approved the menu. There were a. Uh, <clears throat> Sausages. Why would the Warden come to visit me now? What could he possibly want? I have nothing to say to him. I won't give him the pleasure of hearing me speak. What good will it do? He wants me to plead. I shall not. I feel like Keon is someone who's kind of... Accepted his fate and uh, isn't in a very chatty mood. I think he would remain silent. Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we dotted every I and crossed every T. Well, if I'm going to go, I might as well go the most painless way possible. Which would definitely not be by hanging. Although, if hanging is performed properly, I believe it is pretty much instant death, right? 
but the problem is, I'm pretty sure it often is not. I think it depends on whether you break the neck or not, right? Whereas beheading is pretty much guaranteed instant death. Uh, let's go with that. It's not a decision I like to make, but... A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I laid down my sword and turned on my people. Even though I'm just a prisoner now. I was a warrior. Take my head. The sword it is. I shall make a note of it. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Alvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, um, to stop fighting. How can he understand? How can anyone? To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I wish he would just leave. I have nothing more to say to him. I don't care about what he doesn't understand. No one can. No one will ever know why I chose to stop living. I feel like I should break my silence now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, you would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. No. I have no family. No country. Nothing to fight for. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The sword will be ready for you. Let's get a move on. Um, okay. Anything I need? Do I, do I need to take anything? Bucket? I guess I don't need to take a bucket. Alright, <laughs> let's go. What's going on down there? That boy is a major order ride. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely. Where I made a daring swashbuckling last minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Alright, well, give me the key. Oh, you didn't get that far? You expect me to do it? Okay, fine. I guess you are saving my life. We must have a plan for what comes next. He wouldn't have brought us here otherwise. What's going on up there? Huh. Wish I knew. Yazadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. Then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Saya and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, why, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. 
we still don't have a key boy. I know, I know. All right, well, I escaped from Friar's Keep once before with April and Crow, so I think I can do it again. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Locked. And I don't have time to pick each and every cell door. Sure, these are all locked, too. All right, maybe I do actually need this bucket. Can I take it now? They made me shit in a bucket Ew. and live with the stench of it. This is truly a foul place. I hope it burns to the ground. Never mind, I don't think I want that bucket. Crow? Crow? Kaka! Ka! Nope, he's not there. What a filthy mess this place is. No Azadi run prison would ever be so poorly looked after. These Northlanders take little pride in their endeavors. Are you alive? You're alive. Well, you're dying. He's still breathing. I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for this world. Seems like he can't even push the body off him. He looks so young. He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long. But we can't just leave him here either. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I I've lost too much blood. To <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that <coughs> my children tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish, no matter what. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. I will do it. I promise. He wants me to put him out of his misery before the guards arrive. Oh god, I'm gonna have to actually kill him. It appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. Alright. Kill me. Please. Please kill me. There's no point in letting him live. I'm just going to prolong his pain. I'm going to grant him death, but let's see what other people chose. Yeah, wow, another... <laughs> another, uh... Massive, massive majority on the left side. If I... May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. Unlock the gate. They have different keys for every four, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. What, do you intend right. to get to the top and fly off? Upwards. Moving closer. Ever upwards. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Up. 
<laughs> I remember this place. From Dreamfall. Everything's so familiar. Major feelings of deja vu. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. Okay, suppose a shiv is probably not exactly thin enough. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Hmm, something hidden under your pillow, maybe? Oh wow, I'm actually on the bed. Get off the bed! Weirdo. I believe this was once white. <laughs> They're not diligent with their washing in this place. That was once white? I thought that was supposed to be red. Ugh. Oh, that... I was thinking to look under the pillow, and I, now I actually have the pillow. Um, I can either smother someone to death, or I can sit in comfort. Crow? Crow? There he is! Up there! Ooh. Shadow, damn that man! The keep is surrounded by soldiers. Mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. Don't think I can. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Okay, I don't think that's gonna help me pick a lock either. A broom. Use one item on another to combine. Oh, right. The prisoner's dead. Looks like someone slit his throat. I think I see him. They're heading upstairs. Okay. Are they actually coming up? Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! I think they actually are. All right. Uh, what the hell can I combine with this? A pillow with a freaking broom? Sure. Pillow on broom. What the? F <laughs> the hell am I supposed to do with a pillow on a broom? <laughs> what? The fuck? That's not gonna help me pick a lock. It's insane. Someone get the goddamn key! There's gotta be, like, something I need to reach, or, or something, right? I mean, what? Is that, like, a adventure game joke, or am I actually supposed to use this thing? What the fuck is that for? There's something so pure and beautiful about the traditional broom. <laughs> what? Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn key! <laughs> I'm so confused. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I... do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about... something else. Huh! About time you figured that out. What Where's they the have key? planned, I Someone do not the believe God's damn the divine will of the goddess. Nor the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. Okay, well, surely I can't use this to pick the lock, right? Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn I'll keys! The lock. I'll, I'll try the pillow on broom. I'm pretty sure this is a joke. It's gotta be, right? There's something so pure and beautiful about the truth. Shadow be damned! It broke. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. Yeah, I didn't think the shiv would work. Alright, 
broom Where's thingy does not work. Someone get the Hello? Goddamn keys. Hello? Anyone there? I'm speaking into a metal tube. I feel foolish. <laughs> Okay. I have a pillow on broom. Where's the key? You know what? I have an idea, actually. I actually have an idea. God damn, this might actually work. I'm gonna stick that out the window and see if I can gather some arrows. Thin enough to fit in a lock. I Where's should be able to open the gate with this. Oh my god, that is so adventure game logic, and, and yet at the same time, it actually kind of makes sense. It feels so quaint! Like, that's something I would have expected to see in an adventure game 10 years ago, but this is 2014, and this is a damn good looking, good sounding modern game. Aw, it's so quaint and cute! Where's the key? Do the trick. Someone get the, the goddamn keys! Pick the lock the arrow. All those years on the streets of Sadia, paying off. The Good riot job. won't last forever. Follow me. Something's going to give. Either the watch kills every last man, or the prisoners tear this place to pieces. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Let's move. They've broken through to the floor below. Why? If it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden! <laughs> Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backing. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. Oh my. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna give you some unwanted plastic you surgery. The arsehole, Murren. <laughs> Let us through right bloody now! Hello? Hello? No one's gonna answer. No one's ever gonna answer. One day, Murren, we will see you garroted in front of this entire city, and your family, too. I have no time to spare, and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. Alright. Maybe if I can find another broom and another pillow, I can get more arrows <laughs> and pick the lock. So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? Are any of these open? Wait, do I still have it? Oh, I still have the arrow. Well, in that case, I know exactly what to do. I just assume it, it broke. Like, I, I assume after you use anything in an adventure game, it just disappears from your inventory magically. The arrow broke, but oh, the no. gate is open. Oh, it did. Wait, it's open. I'm afraid this is uh, Oh, the other uh, one's as open. Yeah. As you will get. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. I don't know about that, Keon. I mean, he doesn't exactly like what's going on with me. He is he's a, a bureaucrat. He's someone who cares about paperwork and everything being perfectly in line. Doing everything, you know, crossing all your I's and... Uh, crossing your I's. Dotting your I's and crossing your T's, I mean. And all of that stuff. You know, he doesn't like what that, uh, that guy wanted him to do. He found it very improper that he wants to have me executed so quickly without due process. You know, without the proper paperwork and everything being in the, uh, in due time and all that. So, you know what? He actually might let me through with reason. I mean, after all, there's no one around to see. You know, if he opens the gate, how is anyone going to know what he did? He claims to be a rational pragmatist. Maybe I give him too much credit, and maybe he doesn't deserve it, but... I could attempt to reason with him. See if he responds to that. 
Yeah, he's not a bad guy. Listen. Do you hear that? Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. They will give you the same consideration. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your... <clears throat> promise? Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. I will just have to phrase myself carefully. He's not likely to fold easily. Think carefully about this, Warden. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. What did he say about family again? He may treasure his office above his blood. But maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. I really have no time for chit-chat. We're running out of time. And this filthy heathen is the only thing between us and freedom. I won't mince words anymore. Well, he's definitely not going to take a bribe. He said his family is important to him. If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, maybe he'll listen if I threaten his children. No, 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 no. What did he say about... You are a family man, Murrum, are you not? Do you wish to see them left fatherless? If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Open up. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. So give her. She's a good woman, but only a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? Is your word so disposable you will throw it away at a whim? If you kill me, you've proven your disregard for the law. You've proven that you're a simple brute. If I kill you, I rid the world of a piece of sadistic vermin who sold out his own people. Look who's... who's talking? Who's the traitor here? I am merely an elected official. I do not decide who lives or dies. That's for the law to decide, for courts and judges... And other elected officials? who are perfectly willing to carry out orders without question, as long as they can hide behind the chain of command. A system cannot function without bureaucracy and bureaucrats. It cannot function without a hierarchy. If you want to change that, go to the top. Oh, believe me, I will. Don't. Please, spare my life. I have a family. Ah, uh, he's merely a... he's just a gear. Only doing my job. I treat everyone equally, no matter their crime. He's just a bureaucrat, he's just a gear. You know, he's not the thing that sets the, the machine in motion. Don't torture me like this! You will receive your just punishment soon enough. Even his final words are about laws and regulations. Yeah, that's all he is. He's just a bureaucrat. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you as soon as we're out of here? 
Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. Alright, hold on, I saw something back here. We're through. All right. We need to stop him. You're right, sir. A napkin. The prisoner, eh? Uh yeah, that'll okay, help. You just stay A piece here. of cloth. Moist. Far behind us. With what I'd rather not know. <laughs> a piece of cloth. Or a touch of cloth, which is a wonderful Fire. British TV show that I would highly recommend watching. I draw the line at licking Where's shadow. The They're firing at us. The Rabbit. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. No, apparently I can't. I'm hung I've eaten the slop they call we porridge. Don't have much I feel time. a kinship with that lonely flickering flame. Don't have time for this. Sorry, we got a lift, we got a thingy, we can make the lift go up and down. Mmm, can we fit in there? Probably not. They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. They use this contraption to transport food. Anyone key? there? Someone get the goddamn keys! I'm speaking into a metal tube. I feel foolish. I don't have anything in particular this to send up or down the lift. Hold on, let's take a look around. More barrels, lots and lots of barrels. Any open cells? Yes, yes, you want out, you want to hit me in the head and tear my balls off or something. There's no way through here. Alright, I gotta do something with this stuff. Can I combine a napkin with a broken arrow? What would that produce? I can't imagine, but apparently I can use the napkin on the lift. Why? Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Well, I'm using it, but it's not actually doing anything. Oh, can make a. F oh yeah, I can make a fire arrow by lighting it on the candle. But then, then what? What do I do with it? Hmm. I mean, this lift is made of wood. So if I set it on the wood, no. Well, maybe. If I set it on the wood, I guess it might catch it on fire. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! I knew a chandler once. He didn't burn his candle at both ends. Laziest man I ever met. <laughs> a candle loses nothing by lighting another. Shadow. I need a stronger flame to light this torch. Damn it! It went out. All right, let's use a torch to light a torch. It's mounted securely to the wall. Someone get the goddamn keys. Eh? Huh? It won't catch the flame. Like the wise man of Ozad once said, the moist napkin makes for poor kindling. Someone actually said that? I uh, doubt that very much. Okay, so my moist napkin does not want to light on fire. I'm not really sure why I want to light it on fire anyway. A candle loses nothing by lighting another. Whoa. Unless you put it out. The Did you just try to shoot at me? Making it hard to get a clear shot. But I shouldn't tempt fate. Yes, let's not. Wax made from Leviathan head oil. Scented. Lavender, I believe. Hmm. If only I could soak my torch in the wax. Or can I? Where's the Snuffed up wax made from Leviathan head Doesn't oil. appear so. Scented. Lavender, I believe. They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. The chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. Ah, is it? From a broken arrow and an Oops. oiled face towel, I've fashioned a rudimentary illuminant. In other words, I have a torch. Where's the key? <laughs> Illuminant. Get the goddamn they keys. use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. There they are, right above us. Get them! I'd burn my skin off if I tried to wrench it free. 
The prisoners are revolting. There we go. Yes. Shadow. They're firing at us. Curious to see where this is going. But yes, I'm curious to see where this is going too. What am I supposed to do with this torch? I mean, I guess I could burn down the doors. <laughs> what would be the point of that? Where's the key? There's no way through here. Alright, the torch is not actually in my inventory. Hmm. Is there something I want to light on fire? At the moment, there isn't. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Locked. And I don't have time Someone to pick each and every cell door. I mean, if the chain is covered in oil, I suppose I could light the chain on fire. I, I don't know what that would accomplish either. Maybe I should just start lighting shit on fire. When in doubt, burn everything. Most of the prisoners the are key? still under lock and key. Get the goddamn so many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? Yeah, I guess. Snuffed out by my carelessness. Like so many, I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat, but I'm not a dog. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Not really sure what that accomplishes. So they use this contraption to transport food you from the it. kitchens below. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. Oh, it's so we can actually climb up and down. We should be able to climb the chain now. All right, yeah. I hope it's cooled off right enough. Behind you, boy. All right, let's wait. Don't you only have one hand? Man, that is going right to be behind you, boy. That is going to be really hard to climb down with one hand. Good luck. Haha. -ha. Goodbye, Friar's Keep. They've readied the sword for you. A warrior's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick. Block that gate. Alright, big piece Use of wood. To lower the bar. Quickly now. Now arm yourself. A good and true blade. There's a sword over there. Come over here now. How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. Oh, God. No. No. I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, you damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you... The resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. Oh, Jesus. How many more deaths before this night is over? No. There's been enough blood shed. I don't want another life on my conscience. His eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could. Where I only saw defeat, he sees victory. I don't know where this path may lead, but what choice do I have? He is the one breaking me out. I mean, he committed to this plan. He planned this. He wants this.
Okay. I'll do it. Let's see what other people chose. Ooh, I'm in the minority here for once. Okay. Goddess, forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. Blood and pain for the portal. Oh, God. from the city walls into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those walls, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. I never did. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that bone-headed warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. Light protect us. Do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've hold up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone, but I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander! Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch over us. It's our three month anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? He's probably expecting me to say I feel better. It's been three months. That is some sort of milestone, I guess. Maybe I do feel better. I honestly don't know. That's fine. It's still early. The fact that you don't remember anything makes it hard to quantify progress, but it's not just about that. Maybe you will remember. Maybe you won't. But you want to remember. That's what's important. Okay. Do you agree with that, Zoe? And 
potentially lose everything I've built here. I, I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. Yeah, that's what the Vagabond said, remember. And apparently it's hard to remember when you come out of the... What's it called? Story time? The dream world? Just as Zoe said to everyone else, you know, you're not going to remember my name. But apparently you do remember feelings, because obviously... The people she was sending off back to the... Back to the waking world... Obviously she was hoping and seemed to expect them to remember... To not come back, to not use the story time. So I guess they do remember general feelings, but not specifics necessarily. Which I suppose is, well, that's kind of the way dreams are, right? Tend to remember feelings, like maybe you wake up from a nightmare and you remember being scared, but you don't remember exactly what scared you. I have to remember, though. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not And potentially lose everything I've built here. Wait, these are actually different. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something... something I need to do. But if it comes back to me, what will happen to my life? I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. No, I'm not done. I, I haven't done everything that I've... that I'm supposed to do. I need to remember. I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. But you don't remember what it is. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? It's vague. Like a dream. But I do remember some things. Fragments. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. It's, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star. Doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was, like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now, do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or... Virus? Rogue code infecting the World Wide Wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? I forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colorful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. <laughs> Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. 
so they say. In light of everything, it felt very convenient again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenka? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Now, I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time, until I know more. But maybe you should, to get over your fear. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the Dream Machine, and then you suggest I try it. You're right. I probably should, but... I'll think about it. Think about it. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not ready to discuss my dad. We don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into pioneering, but... I decided to drop my pioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of, so... No, no, I don't. Well, fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe. Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to Liv. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit. For now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Ah, a new journal entry. Oh, wrong one. Monday, July 24th, 2220. Three months in therapy. Still batshit crazy. Hello. I'm not complaining. The doc's doing a good job. Probably. My head's a mess. I've lost over a year of memories, but I'm getting better ish. And I do want to remember. That's probably a step in the right direction, right? At least there's that. Anyway, I've spent enough time in my head today. No more psychotherapy. Dear Diary, let's move forward and focus on the present. Is that 12 entries? Whoa! Whoa! 
Holy crap. Uh... So I guess I can view all the ones from, well, everything that's happened since I woke up, right? So the first one should be about waking up. Yeah, there it is. Awake, alive, amnesiac. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a lot to read. And I really, really, really want to read it. But not just now. I'll read it a little bit later. So I think I'm going to end this episode right about here. Uh, I just want to say that this game is freaking amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. I never could have imagined it would be so good. It, it's so... I, I, uh, it's goddamn magnificent. I mean, I never expected it to be bad, but <laughs> I didn't expect it to be amazing. But it is. I mean, the longest journey... The first one was a damn good game. It was a very good story, wrapped up in some really, really archaic and just terrible sort of adventure game puzzle sort of design. And then Dreamfall kind of stripped most of that back and didn't really have many puzzles at all. And simplified it a lot and focused much more on the story, less on the adventure game part. And although it did have some misguided weird stuff, like some very limited and super awkward combat encounters and stuff like that. But overall, I actually thought it was quite an improvement over The Longest Journey. And this just feels perfect. Utterly perfect. Like, so far, there's no weird, awkward combat stuff. It feels like a perfect mixture of kind of adventure game stuff and actually having to solve, you know, kind of puzzles or challenges or whatever you want to call them and having it actually make sense. It's just, God, it's wonderful. The voice acting is so good, the writing is so good, it looks beautiful, it sounds beautiful, just, ugh. It's amazing. I, I freaking love it. God damn, I've been waiting so long for this. So long. Eight years since Dreamfall came out. And it's finally here, it's finally being continued, and it's magnificent. That is... wonderful. That is so wonderful. I'm just gonna stare out at the rain for a while. Alright, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far. And I will absolutely be back soon.